movieweb.com. Okay, um, for Amir, I felt this was a really complex character, and I had a little bit of a problem even empathizing with his plight because of some of the stuff he does as a child. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if you could relate to him as a person, and do you think at the end he actually does redeem himself, like he feels he's redeemed himself? I think so. Um, I mean, part of his journey, you know, it's, it's and part of the theme of the of, of the film and the book is 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 that of growing up, um, and a mere becoming a man, if you like. And everyone presumes that they've become a, a, an adult when they turn eighteen, and of course that's not the case. You know, you spend a long time dealing with you know aspects of your childhood as as you, as you grow up. I mean, I always feel a bit. Um, I feel it's a bit unfair the fact that people um, get too angry with Amir because at the end of the day, the sin that he commits, he does so when he's about 11 years old. You know, he's still a child, um, and part of, but certainly part of my job as an actor is to keep him sympathetic the whole way through, um, because um, you know he shares in a way the anger that a lot of people have for him. And in terms of how he, how it represents itself in him, he's, he's, he becomes a guilty person. He's an awkward person, and part of I think part of what animates him is that is his desire, on the one hand, for love from his father, and also to have a father who's proud of him. Um, but also, um, you, you know, but also he tries to deal with you know he tries to deal with the guilt that he has in relation to what he did as a child. And was it easy for the two of you to find a father-son bond, working together? Yeah, yeah, very easy. Because the first time I saw him in Kabul, and that chemistry was there right away. And on the set, uh, we haven't shot our scene. We sh start shooting our scene after two months, after living together for two months, stayed together, eating together, living same place, and we became a family. We became a father and son, even on the, on, on the set, out of the set view. Now, you take the whole journey as far as filming goes. You, you play the character all the way through, but you, you have a younger actor playing you, and I'm wondering, did you, were you on set with that younger actor while yeah. he was acting? I was, there the, I was there the whole time with them. I actually first, I, I mean, all the boys, I first met them in Kabul. I went and spent a month there, um, and during that time I met them and we learned to fly kite together, actually. Um, but on set, I was there the whole time. And in fact, both of us, whenever we weren't shooting, we'd always be on set watching the scenes. But it was, but I was around them the whole time. Yeah, Mark was very surprised because we were on the set every day watching kids. He said, this is the first time I see the actors come on the set without having the shooting, you know, we were on the set. Now, I'm interested in your backstories because I, I read this morning that you were an architect to originally begin with. I'm wondering how you got into acting Yes, I'm still architect, you know, I never change, i always architect, but uh, uh, by accident. It's a very long story, I make it short, that by accident I became actor 11 years ago, and since then I quit architecture, and I'm acting since then, so. Now, how close did you guys work with the author of the book? Because I hear he was on the set a lot too, right? Yeah, he came, he came and visited us both in China and when we were shooting in San Francisco in the Bay Area. Um, I mean, our, he was kind of, he was a very supportive presence. I know he had a much, he had a much closer, I mean, we've kind of built a family actually throughout the whole filmmaking process, whether that's, you know, Homayun and me, or whether that's our, our relationship with, with Khaled, who we've spent so much time with, but actually during, in the making of the film, um, I think the biggest part was his relationship with David, um, the screenwriter. Um, and yeah, they'd have this thing where they'd be emailing each other because they have a particular rhythm. I think um, David writes from 12 till 5 in the morning and Khaled writes from 5 and they'd be emailing each other just as one was going to sleep and the other one was waking up. And So he was very close over the writing of the screenplay. Um, but uh, yeah, he came and visited on set and it was wonderful to have him there. But by that point we'd been shooting for about two months or so.